one more again. Right, okay. Sounds interesting. How would you describe the scent of the perfume or the fragrance? So I think it's a fight between a, a floral story and twisted with leather, twisted with, um, with uh, uh, metallic notes, with grey amber, with keys. So it's a fight between a, a floral feminine aspect mixed with leather notes, with grey amber, with citrus and uh, with lemon. So, um, so it's a multifaceted story that goes into different directions. So it's not something based on the sociological gay approach. It's something truly to leverage the emotion of the perfumer and to leverage the technique of the perfumer. I try to, um, to get them out of the mainstream of the, of the fragrance business. So it's like a myth, it's like a, a homage to the myth in of Tom of Finland, in a way, because when I look at the pictures, I don't get the smell of um, the perfume. Yeah, but wear it on skin. Wear okay. it on skin and leave it the scent. You will see that you will dive into a, a little touch of leather, a little touch of ins. So Tom of Finland drawings, that's a kind of praise to the masculinity. But the idea is, it's even, even you know, beyond the, the, the true story of masculinity, so that's the reason why you have a flower. Because in a way you have some femininity into the drawings of, uh, of Tom. And um, wear it on skin and discover all the multifacets of... Uh, of all the songs of Tom. The idea was not to... Uh, to do a kind of passé in the story and to focus on the past of the 60s, 70s. Mm -hmm. But the idea is to, was to bring modernity and to, uh, and to deliver something for the sons of time. The sons of time? The sons of time. That was also the key word of the development. And, uh, Who were the sons of Tomby? They sound like a gang. Yeah, in a way, a gang bang. Are they, a gang, are they like a biker gang? I think that. I was amazed by by the influence. Or are they more sophisticated? Yeah, more sophisticated. Anyway, you can be rough and tough, but you can be ultra sophisticated. In